work to uh, stop racial profiling. So that may be uh, advocating um, uh, to stop racial profiling through TSA, but also we're concentrated on trying to change the po internal policies of the Department of Justice um, and their 2003 guidance on racial profiling so that it has no loopholes on national security, so it includes religion, includes national origin um, in the definition of racial profiling. Um, I wanted to refer uh, to the 2010 State of the Global Sikhs um, uh, report as it ties together really well the impact of, of targeting communities, um, in, in this case the Sikh community, for the supported safety of a nation or what we call national security. Uh, we know that profiling is wrong no matter in what form. Uh, we, we've seen a trend of, uh, of communities being profiled. Uh, it started with the war on drugs, uh, profiling black and brown communities uh, while driving, and now we see a wider net being cast. So profiling of whether it's Sikh folks or Muslims or immigrants on the war on, uh, war on terror and the war on drugs. And we believe that profiling, whether it's on the war on drugs, war on terror, or, uh, uh, or the war on immigrants, um, that profiling in these cases is wrong no matter what. It is a fundamental violation of our human rights and our civil rights. Whether you re re refer to the ICCPR or the 14th Amendment, it is a violation of our equal protection under the law, and, it is a, uh, a, and the consequences go beyond just profiling. I think that, that this report does a great job of sh showing the consequences of profiling in that once we start targeting and scapegoating communities, in the report we refer, it refers both to the hate crimes that are committed as a result of the profiling, bullying that happens in schools as a result of profiling, uh, unlawful detention, and the pressure to also abandon one's identity. If you're constantly profiled for being a certain, uh, just because you identify with a certain ethnicity, race, or religion, and you're constantly being targeted by law enforcement, I think that pressures youth and other folks uh, to kind of release or try to uh, disassociate from the groups that are being profiled. And we don't talk as much about that, but I think that there is an importance in understanding how profiling relates to all of these other issues as well. Um, I want to focus on the aspect of profiling in the United States by, the, by law enforcement. Uh, the report outlines really importantly the policies and procedures that are fundamentally flawed so the report in the first section really refers to how DHS is using new technologies to supposedly say that we, they, will, uh, they will not, that having these new technologies, advanced imaging technologies, will make, make it so TSA is not profiling. But what it clearly outlines is that it's actually causing more and more profiling. That because of the advanced imaging technologies and policies related to it, that there is actually, uh, that more Sikhs and more Muslims are being uh, set as, uh, put through secondary screening and jail style, style pat downs. And I think that it's important to understand how as DHS is forming these policies that they supposedly say is not profiling, that it's actually leading to more profiling. And having stories from this report helps us prove that case and also uh, advocate to stop profiling on a federal level. Um, all pro all all, all forms of profiling, as I said earlier, we believe is wrong. We know that it is ineffective to profile communities uh, because it, costs, it casts a wider net um, and it's important to target people based on behavior and not their profile. Uh, it's, important to have, it's also important to have laws that protect minorities, in a, in, especially in places when we say we have crisis. So our nation tends to say, okay, profiling is wrong, but we have national security exemptions because the security of this nation is what's most important. And at that time, we target the most vulnerable of our community members. We target those uh, that are, are seen as the outsiders, but in reality are members of our communities. Having exemptions for national security, border security, allows us to target communities who are not, uh, not responsible for these horrendous acts, whether it's the war on drugs or the war on, uh, on terror. It pushes communities size and sets them apart from them being Americans. So for that reason, we are really, really push for federal uh, legislation that would ban profiling in all ways, as well as administrative actions. I think that what the United Sikhs has done in terms of training TSA officers is great, but it shouldn't rely on civil, we shouldn't, TSA should not be relying on civil society to have to pressure TSA to be trained. That should be a natural part of what TSA does, it should be a natural part of what DHS and DOJ do to have cultural sensitive sensitivity training so that folks that are being uh, put in positions of power, law enforcement that are being position, put in positions of power, are really understanding what different communities uh, need and how they identify so that they're not profiling based on those, those needs and those reasons. Um, and 
In general, I think that, uh, you know, we work a lot on documentation. So we put out a, a report called Faces of Profiling Around the a Nation. And we did this the, by, um, by having hearings around the nation on profiling. And what we saw was really common uh, links to exactly what the United Seek Report talks about. We were able to see how profiling impacts immigrant communities, how profiling impacts black communities, how profiling impacts uh, Sikh communities, Muslim communities, South Asian communities, and, and the, the ways in which all communities are being ta targeted. So the, the report, the United Seek Report, really lays out the stories um, of how com Sikh communities are impacted. And I think that the, the process of documentation and story collection is, is a lot of what our organization should be working towards as we push for these policy changes. Because as we see, the policies are, uh, are not changing that rapidly. And we need to prove more and more what is happening in our community. Um, we need to show the impacts of profiling that it's not just some policy uh, discussion, but that folks are being detained because they're profiled. Folks are dying because they're being profiled. Uh, people are being deported because they're being profiled. Um, and I think that it's really important to, to really talk about real community security and not the guise of national or community security. That as we profile more communities, they're being alienated and therefore not cooperating, cooperating with law enforcement, and therefore creating a more insecure environment for all, for all of our community members. Um, and I, I, think that, uh, I think that beyond uh, what the professor said, that whether Sikhs want to identify with Muslims or be seen as their own identity, that it is important, no matter what identity, that we all defend all of our rights to not be profiled, that we defend our equal rights under the, the Constitution as well as our human rights, and stand up for all the different communities. And when I'm in the community, I hear a lot, I'll hear a lot of uh, black Americans say, well, I don't believe in profiling for, for when I'm driving and our community's gotten used to it, but I totally think that it's okay to profile at airports. And then I'll hear community members from whether it's a Sikh Muslim or a South Asian community say, well, you know, I, I don't believe that profiling is right at airports, but, you know, I do believe that uh, we do have a lot of gang members out there and that we need to profile black people on the streets. And it's just contradictory to the work that we need to be doing together. I think there's, it's very important that we see all these profiling as linked and that we have federal policies to ban all forms of profiling. And we really commend the United Seek for discussing these in the reports, as well as really looking at the, at the specific policies and procedures that lead to more profiling in this country. Thank you.